Hi, everybody. Dr. Brett Schur, medical director at dietdoctor.com. I want to tell you about another new study we just published, and this one was so interesting. It was a survey that was published in Obesity Medicine, and what they did was uh, they did a survey of female physicians, an online survey, asking what they did personally for themselves for weight loss, and then also what they recommended for their patients. What I found most fascinating was that what they did for themselves for weight loss wasn't low fat, wasn't eat less, move more. What was it? It was intermittent fasting. 72% of them said they, they practiced some form of intermittent fasting. And that was between 14 and 24 hours. And then 46% of them, almost half, said they follow a ketogenic diet. And 26% said they follow a calorie-restricted low carbohydrate diet. No other intervention or no other practice made it up to 15%. So that's pretty dramatic. Intermittent fasting, ketogenic diet, and low calorie, low carb diet, those were the three most common interventions by female physicians. Now, what they do for their patients was a little different. They still recommended those three, but at much lower percentages. And then there was a higher percentage of the DASH diet or the Mediterranean diet or the diabetes prevention program, things that they did not do for themselves. So you could interpret this in two ways. Um, Maybe their patients were a little bit sicker. More of them had diabetes or high blood pressure. So uh, the doctors felt this other approach was better. Or you can interpret it as saying they're much more comfortable doing things for themselves that they see as not being guideline-based or not being standard of care. And when it comes to their patients, they feel they have to sort of toe the line, so to speak, or give the advice that's recommended by most organizations. That that interpretation I found I find a little disturbing, and I hope it's not so much of that, but I think we still see a lot of that in medical practice. But the good news is when it comes to low-carb diets, whether it's keto diet or just carbohydrate restriction in general, the American Diabetes Association has endorsed it. Uh, The Obesity Medicine Society has it as part of their guidelines. It's out there. It's not like this is fringe and completely against guidelines. It's included in guidelines, as Dr. David Unwin has, has done so much work in the UK about this as well. So I think the main take home is, look, when it comes to a, 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 a physician doing something for themselves, they're going to do what, what works. They're not going to worry about the guidelines. They're going to do what they know works. Intermittent fasting and ketogenic diets top the list. That's pretty powerful. If you want to see more about this, go to dietdoctor.com. You can read the whole article. And if you're enjoying these videos, make sure you click the subscribe button there so you won't miss any more. You'll, you'll get all the videos as they're updated. Have a great day. We'll see you next time on Diet Doctor.